Corridor is a 464 mile long intercity passenger rail corridor stretching from New York City to Niagara Falls. Intercity train services on the corridor are operated by the National Passenger Railroad, Amtrak, under contract with the state of New York, which financially supports the service. The corridor has a service development plan, a detailed planning document from the Empire Corridor Tier 1 Environmental Impact Study, released in spring of 2023 that was developed from the study's preferred alternative 90B. The service development plan outlines a program of infrastructure and operational improvements for the Empire Corridor. The central feature is the construction of 293 miles of dedicated passenger track between Schenectady County and Buffalo, on the surplus right-of-way of the formerly four-track mainline of the New York Central Railroad, now a double-track mainline operated by freight railroad CSX Transportation. A further 39 miles of a fourth track would be built in five sections across the corridor to allow opposing passenger trains to pass at speed. The top speed on the new passenger track would be 90 miles per hour. This new dedicated passenger track would be the railway equivalent of a highway express lane, often called an HOV lane, by separating faster passenger trains from slower and longer freight trains, just as a dedicated express lane separates faster passenger cars and transit buses from slower moving trucks. This dedicated express track would facilitate a doubling of train frequency between Albany and Buffalo, cutting over an hour off travel times while increasing on-time performance to 95%. Other infrastructure upgrades would include various improvements to the Hudson Line between New York City and Schenectady County, this railway being maintained by Amtrak north of Poughkeepsie, and by the commuter railway Metro North, south of Poughkeepsie. The Hudson Line would see upgrades of its tracks, bridges and signaling systems, including extending the existing 110 miles per hour speeds of Amtrak trains in the Capital District, all the way south to Poughkeepsie. And across the Empire Corridor, the stations at Rhinecliff, Hudson, Amsterdam, Utica, Rome, Syracuse, and Buffalo Depew, would be upgraded or completely rebuilt with new high-level platforms, facilitating the level boarding of trains, which reduces station dwell times and greatly improves accessibility. A new maintenance facility would also be built at Niagara Falls, so that work on trains could be done indoors in climate-controlled conditions. And last, the Niagara branch between Buffalo and Niagara Falls would be upgraded, including double tracking. The trains themselves are also set for a major renewal with the replacement of decades-old locomotives and coaches, with new aero, diesel-electric hybrid battery train sets, built by Siemens Mobility for Amtrak. At the time of its release in 2023, the service development plan had an estimated cost of $8.8 .8 billion, over a 25-year planned build-out. Ridership on the corridor would double to an estimated $2.6 million annually, with an 80% farebox recovery ratio. With both a high frequency of trains and 60 to 70 miles per hour average speeds between New York City, the Capital District, Central New York, and the Niagara Frontier, the intercity service proposed for the Empire Corridor is directly comparable to the new Brightline Florida service between Miami and Orlando, as well as Amtrak's Acela and Northeast Regional service on the Northeast Corridor. Future travelers would be conveniently able to undertake many out and home again, day trips between many city pairs within the corridor. A morning trip down from Syracuse to New York, an afternoon in the city, and then back home again on an evening train. The same for making a day trip to Buffalo from Albany. The projected travel time for the 431 miles between New York City and Buffalo Depew in the service development plan is the current travel time today for Amtrak's high-speed Acela Express for the 457 miles between Boston and Washington, D.C. This travel time would enable a traveler from New York City boarding a late morning train at Penn Station to arrive in downtown Rochester or Buffalo, 
with time to check into a hotel and freshen up, before attending an evening event, returning the next day on a mid-morning train back to New York. And further improvements can be made to the service development plan, including finding ways to shorten the proposed build-out time. Consider that the 235 miles of new and upgraded track for Brightline in Florida was built within a decade. Rebuilding the existing Empire Corridor also avoids the pitfalls that have befallen California high-speed rail, which has fallen decades behind schedule, with cost estimates having risen to well over $100 billion. Leveraging existing railroad infrastructure and right-of-way is also not just financially smart, but environmentally sustainable as well, avoiding the loss of natural habitats, farmland, businesses, and homes through costly and litigious greenfield land acquisition, while reducing greenhouse gas emissions during construction. Modern intercity rail in upstate New York would serve as a catalyst for economic development and social well-being by encouraging urban renewal around stations in historic urban centers and increasing mobility within a more balanced transport system of air, road, and rail. But none of this will occur unless New York State steps up its game, finding the capital funding while building up the organizational capacity necessary to build and operate a fast and frequent passenger rail service from New York City across upstate New York to Niagara Falls. You can do your part by contacting your local mayor, state legislator, and the governor's office, asking them to both support and push to improve the Empire Corridor Service Development Plan. You should also contact your U.S. congressional representatives to ask for their support for increasing federal capital grant funding for intercity rail. Express your support. Ask for their support. Support for creating a new Empire State Express to take all of us forward through the 21st century and beyond. After decades of talk and study after study, let's wait no more, delay no more, let's get it on the express track, let's get it done.